Hi to all my dolly friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am so stoked to open up this girl. As you can see, she is limited edition. And this is a Mariana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or wrong. You can correct me down in the comments if you know how to. But yes, this girl is super, super cute. I will say ahead of time, I did not pick her because of her outfit. I really don't like her outfit. I might even try to sell it on the side, but this doll, she's beautiful. So I wanted to show you the box and this is why I kind of did the purple scheme in the background to kind of go with it because her box colors are white, lilac, and pink. So that's what we got going on. Um, I really do love the boxes. They're very cute and they're very sturdy, kind of like a tough cardboard. Um, and I will bring her in a little bit closer just so you can see it says limited edition up on the right corner and then over here it says ruby red fashion friends let freedom ring mariana and it says let freedom ring because she is the um i believe like a fourth of july or like american um flag thing going on so you can see her hat with the stars and um this is the box so we are gonna open her up because i can't wait any longer and I'm trying to do a different style with a tripod. But um, this is, I haven't opened her at all. So this is why I'm like, let's get this show on the roll. So I don't even know, what did I say on the roll? Okay, anyways. So we have some tissue paper and then ooh, this is the authenticity. And it says, again, let freedom ring a Mariana. Um, it does come with this creepy doll. Um, I believe it reminds me of Annabelle, but um, you know. For the sake of the video, we'll just let it be. Oh, and she's a 2022 special edition because we're in 2023. And it says the owner of this doll and certificate is the owner of one of the hundred limited dolls in the world. So they only made a hundred of her and this is her outfit. As I said, I don't like it at all. Um, but yes, that's there. I am going to do this a little bit different. So this is how it comes up because I don't want... It's a little hard to unpack her, but she does come with this kind of like cardboard um, and rubbery plastic thing to protect her face. She comes in underwear and the outfit pieces are separately. So I'm gonna open that off camera just to get straight into the details and all of that jazz. I just took her out of the box and I have to show you guys really quick. She looks creepy like this. So the other doll that I got, Russell, he came with his wig glued down already so uh this is very new for me i know i saw that this is a silicone thing that you put under the wig cap so that'll be like you know brand new for me but i did want to show you she comes protected with this underwear and the same thing just notice that she comes with her nails painted which is a cute little detail so let me go ahead and unwrap her all right so here we have her face without the wig cap on just so you can see up close Oh, I actually didn't notice her eyebrows are very strange the way they start like that. Hmm. I did not notice that. That is weird. What eyebrows go like that? But um, hopefully I can get past that. But um, and I didn't notice that she had like pink eyeliner and pink eyeshadow either. But I do like um that her skin tone looks more realistic a lot of the ruby red fashion friends are on the much paler side and i've seen comments where people say that they kind of look kind of like vampire-ish or just not too lively but um they're still very beautiful there's a, a couple of them that i would like it's just a skin tone throwing me off um and she has these beautiful eyelashes very cute and she has kind of like these amber yeah, it's not hazel, it's amber eyes. Um, and I love her um, her lip color, it's very pretty. Don't mind my um, nails, they are atrocious. So that's the beauty we're working with. And this is her wig. And it's a very cute, it's kind of like a light brown mix with some golden highlights. Very, very beautiful, a lot of dimension. I was very curious about this side braid part. So it kind of reminds me of Mia with American Girl, how I guess it, I don't know if I'd keep it. I thought that maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, this is just the wig. It's kind of wavy on the bottom and um, I'm gonna put it on. I might struggle with it, so I'll definitely do that off the camera. All right, so this is how I put her wig on. 
um, I can maybe put it a little bit closer, but I feel like she has pretty good forehead size comparison to her face. Everything's looking, you know, proportionate, not a big forehead or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't say it was super difficult. I just, I did mess up a little bit. Um, and now she has these little fray, little short pieces. I don't know if you could tell, but um, she has a very sweet face. Um, and I guess this is great that the wig didn't come glued down. I kind of wish if they would give you an option like they did with Russell. And as I said with Russell, I decided to glue down his wig while they did it for me, um, even though he has such a beautiful neutral face. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but she reminds me of the Olsen twins. Growing up, I was obsessed. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen was my entire childhood. I loved all their movies, all their shows, the toys, them, their fashion, everything they stood for. Absolutely love them. So when I saw her, I immediately saw the Olsen twins and I was like, I have to have her. She's very cute. So we are going to put on her outfit. Just Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to put on the outfit because I want to sell it. We are going to go straight into this. I got her this outfit. This is a Ruby Red Fashion Friends. Um, does it say what kind of outfit? No. Hmm. Pretty in purple. There we go. Pretty in purple. And um, I think it's super, super cute. So let's put this on her. Apologize for the lighting. The sun literally disappeared right now. So we are going to move forward. But this is a blouse. And this looks so nice. It looks so like realistic and really nice. I love the little pearl buttons. That is so cute. It does look sheer. It's kind of like a chiffon material. Um, and it has a little v-neck. And it has a little rouge over here. It's scrunched by the wrist. Very cute and stylish. I love that. Then we have the pleated kind of like metallic satiny with golden metallic design to it kind of reminds me a little bit like a japanese dress but in a skirt form um and i love the royal purple it's really gorgeous very very pretty and i love you know me queen of neutrals i love that they threw on these black neutral boots and they didn't add any like cheap hardware or anything like you know too childish i love it like this is so this is something i would wear and then I believe it has a Velcro here. Yep. A nice high knee boots with a little smidgen of a heel. Not really too much, but I love that. Um, I feel bad kind of not showing the outfit that she came in, but I just really don't like it. I mean, look at the shoes. <laughs> she would not be wearing that. So let me dress her. And then I'll show you her beautiful self. Oh, I also wanted to show you that her side braid is kind of pinned with a little rubber band to the side. I feel like you're just supposed to keep her little um, side braid in. I don't know how it would look if you take it out because um, it seems like it doesn't start from the part. It seems like it starts from all the way here. Um, and that might look a little bit weird. So I'm just going to keep her hair like that for now. Who knows what will happen in the future. I actually did order another wig on Etsy from, I believe, Zazu Dolls. I've never ordered from her before. So I'm excited. But it's not for her. It's supposed to be for another doll that, I, that I'll have in the future. Um, so yeah, so she's very cute. This is how the blouse looks. I did tuck it in. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. Maybe not. I think maybe a little bit below but um hmm. trying to fix this as we yeah, that looks a little bit better so oops i'm sorry about that she does have her nails painted also her her feet and this is a beautiful pleated skirt and then these are the boots one boot these are the boots one boot gave me a little bit more problem than the other one i don't know why um but this is how she looks like. Oh, she's so sweet, guys. Oh, my God. I love her. And the eyebrow thing, I don't even notice. It does look weird when you look at it up front. But, like, from far away, you can't really tell. It's very subtle. So, I just feel like they shouldn't do that for next time. But beautiful wig. And I would have loved if they would have just 
started from her center part, not center part, her side part, like, you know, from here, so that we could do more things with her hair, but that's fine. She's very beautiful. Did want to note that American Girl Furniture works pretty well for them. Some things are a little bit taller in scale, but honestly, you can't tell. Like, this is all American Girl, and it goes perfectly with her. She is such a stunning doll. So these are the only two ruby red fashion friends that I have. The one thing that I'm noticing that is bothering me a little bit is, as you can see on her left side or on our left side, her cheek looks shiny and the right one is matte. I would have loved if they were both matte. I don't know what's going on because I just opened her right now. So it's not like my oily hands have gotten on her face or anything like that, but they're both very, very cute.